What's up guys, Brennan Mejia here. So I'm sure you've seen tons of Power Ranger collections in the past, but have you seen a Power Rangers Power Ranger collection? So this is just a taste of mine. I got a lot more in this box and over there to show you guys. But also, if you wanna see a chance of how you can win this helmet, make sure to watch till the end of the video. Let's get into it. So unfortunately, my collection from when I was a kid is no longer with me by and large because my family was like, you're older now, so let's do the garage sale thing. And I got rid of a bunch of my original toys because I used to collect a lot of the Megazords basically from Mighty Morphin through In Space and even Lost Galaxy. You know, I had the Dragon Dagger, D Digger. I had the Dragon Dagger. I had a whole bunch of Megazords, a whole bunch of the toys. So I basically had to restart once I became an adult and then Here's some of the collection you see before you. A lot of this is custom stuff. Uh, I can't really say I have a preference over custom or officially licensed. It depends on the product. Although I've noticed the stuff from Japan tends to be of higher quality, like this Funko Pop type guy, which I keep trying to find more of, uh, is from Japan. Like I've never seen this in America as an actual Funko Pop because I would buy a ton of these, but this was actually a gift. I think Yoshi, always Yoshi, honorable mention in every video, gave this to me for one of my birthdays when we were filming uh, Dino Charge, but I cannot find more of them. I've tried Googling it, like Kyo Rouger, Kyo Rouger Red, Funko Pop, Chibi toy, it doesn't show up. If you find it, let me know, drop a link in the comments. But yeah, so like this obviously is good enough quality where I don't need a custom version. But for instance, they didn't make Energems in our show, but I have a, a lovely friend who made this for instance, which is like its own self-contained crystal bed with an Energem and a magnet and a string. So it floats in there, which is amazing. And obviously this is custom, so. People are just super skilled now with what they can do custom. So that Energem, you know, again, is custom. The one I'm wearing right now is my Energem from the show. So they look pretty darn close, if you ask me. You know, I bet I could probably swap it out and put it on my necklace even. This is maybe a little bit of a darker hue because the process in which they made Energems uh, would always make each batch of gems slightly different because we actually had multiple Energems on the show that they'd repaint, sometimes give us new ones. Uh, this one, you could actually see the paint starting to come off the top where the magnet connects to the necklace piece. So every time you do this, it gets rubbed. So they'd either repaint them or give us new ones. So jumping into some of the other things I have that are custom, this is one of my favorite pieces. My buddy Kevin made this, the T-Rex Smasher. Again, the toy version just does not compare. Yeah, you weren't ready for that. So this, like, I feel like, I don't know, if someone wanted to fight me, I could legit, I mean, I, I wouldn't fight someone with this, but I could, you know? We wouldn't have the special effects where they fly back and stuff, but this is one of my favorite pieces that I have, and I have it in the room where I stream on Twitch. Master Mejia is my Twitch handle in case you want to join me when I stream. So this is one of my favorites. Um, and then we got other custom items like this guy, which is uh, was given to me by a fan at a convention. It's like my own personal voodoo doll, Dino Charge Red Ranger. So thank you. Can't remember the name of the person who gave it to me because it was a long time ago, but pretty cool. Uh, and then jumping into more custom items, we got this guy, which is Rexy with very own Energem. And I always considered Rexy a girl you know, kind of like people name cars after girls or boats and stuff. Um, I feel like Rexy is a girl dinosaur. So Rexy has her own Energem and this necklace has a different clasp for a magnet on the back. So let me just reclose that there. Um, jumping into other items. So again, we got the helmet I'm gonna do the giveaway for at the end of this video. This was a custom helmet as well. I mean, they're all custom. We didn't get to keep our helmets in the show, but this was from my buddy Demo. Uh, and then jumping into not custom, obviously we got the Saba sword, which is incredible. Out of the Mighty Morphin suits, uh, Green Ranger and I guess if you consider White Ranger Mighty Morphin right, even though it's a different Sentai that they mixed in there, those are my two favorite suits from Mighty Morphin itself. Uh, Gold Zeo being my favorite favorite, but these are beautiful. And then of course, speaking of Green Ranger, this is probably the rarest piece that I own. So Stephen Ford, my good buddy who played the Kamen Rider Dragon Knight, um, had someone at Sideshow Collectibles send us this where I did a, an unboxing video for this in one of my previous YouTube videos. So this is, I think, one of like five or 600 pieces. I have a card that says what number this one is, but it's just incredible. It's really heavy. I don't want to pick him up because I want to hurt him. I had to dust him off for this video because he sits on a shelf in my streaming office, but this is incredible design. So definitely one of my top five pieces that I own, maybe even top three. Jumping back into custom stuff. 
So uh, someone I met at Morphicon made this stand to hold dyno chargers. So it's custom meets obviously licensed, officially licensed stuff um, with the dyno chargers. So that's pretty cool. And then we got over here, a couple of morphers. So this is like the White Ranger one, but if you look again, custom meets licensed with the uh, unofficial dyno charge coin in there, which I thought was a cool touch someone made for me. And then I have this morpher as well. So, you know, two different ones, got the, the White Ranger version with the White Ranger coin somewhere in this house. Um, and then just the original, you know, morpher with the Red Ranger coin in there. But we're just starting to scratch the surface. So let's jump into some of the other stuff I have in my collection. This handful of little Power Ranger toys I got here. I don't remember the official names for them, but I have these signed by a bunch of the cast from Mighty Morphin, except Pink, because I've never met Amy Jo Johnson and I didn't run into Catherine Sutherland when I had this to sign. But like this one is signed, I believe by both uh, Black Rangers. We got Walter and Johnny Young Bosch, if I'm not mistaken, on the bottom of this. And then blue is also not signed. I thought I, okay, maybe not all of these are signed as much as I thought they were. Uh, but then we got this one, which was signed by Aisha, so you know. And then we got Red Ranger stand is over there, but I don't think this one was signed either. Maybe I'll sign it myself or I'll just put myself on it. I don't even know where this came from. I can't remember, but it's kind of like the same size, so it's cute. Uh, and then let's see, this <laughs> funny story with this guy. So I don't even know where this toy came from, but I mean, I know where I got it, but I don't know if it was actually for sale because I haven't seen it for retail. But uh, when we did a Dino Charge, like I think it was a show wrap party at Saban Studios, they had this on top of a Dino Charge cake and I took it from the cake. So this just meant a lot to me because I was like, no one's gonna miss this. I'm gonna have it. And so I took it. Uh, yeah. And then over here, this one's pretty cool. So San Diego Comic-Con, uh, did a lot of custom like specialty items for Power Rangers that you had to be in San Diego Comic-Con. Um, this one says New York Comic-Con, but I got it at San Diego Comic-Con. So it says October 8 to 11, 2015. So this was the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers limited edition Dino Charge Power Pack. So they're Dino Chargers, but with the names and designs of characters from the Mighty Morphin movie. So this one is pretty cool. Um, I also have another version of this somewhere in one of these boxes, but let's see. So in here, you know, in my own collection, I'm going to have to have lightning figures of myself because when you get a toy made of yourself, you got to go get a couple of them. Sadly, I was never given any lightning figures from Hasbro. So I, yes, I, every lightning figure I own, I did have to buy myself, but it was well spent. Um, got some other... Dino chargers, you know, from uh, Japan. Is this Japan? No, this, what language is this? I don't even think this is Japanese. Do you guys know what language that is? That's not Japanese, right? Whatever language that is, pretty cool. Um, then of course, you know, in some of my other videos where I compared like the American version of the toys to the Japanese, whoop, that was cool, you're impressed, uh, versions of the toys. So of course I got multiple uh, versions of these guys. And then a couple of other, like, you know, just me in different forms, not kept in the best condition. As I mentioned, I was never able to find the Japanese version of these. I did have a prop maker custom make um, similar versions. They're not, uh, the joints don't move, they're fixed and they're not quite the same, but I thought they were pretty cool. But I, I actually, you know, this one, if we can get it movable, it'd be awesome, but not a bad thing to have. Uh, jumping over to my other box, over yonder. So this is also one of my favorite pieces. <laughs> this is the giant version. It had like a stand that it came with, but I took it out just for space. Um, you know, so this is still bigger than my kid right now. He's four and a half months. So it's kind of funny just to have a, what comes up to my hip almost, not quite. So can't say it's life size unless, you know, you're a toddler, then maybe it's life size for you. But this is pretty cool, Toys R Us where they had a bunch of these. But I believe Scott Zillner, uh, the guy who owns Morphicon, gave me this guy, or I bought it off of him, something like that. Um, got a lot of Dino Charge stuff, like this Dino Charge backpack. So when we wrapped Power Rangers Dino Charge, they let us keep, well, basically, no, when we went to Saban Studios after we wrapped, they let us into this special room that had a bunch of toys from Dino Charge. And so this was in there. So I got this, 
This is my apron from the Dinobite Cafe in the show. This was not in that special room. They just let us keep this from set. So, you know, when I'm cooking some Bronzo burgers, can throw that bad boy on. Um, ooh, this is cool. So I have my set aside for Chiplin. So the producer set this aside to then give to me. It's the journal that I wrote all my adventures in as Tyler. So yes, I actually got to keep this. And they would send me home with it occasionally to write in it um, so they could see my handwriting. But it looks like, I can't even remember, I guess I made it like an auto, uh, an autograph book, you know, high school. So I got messages that looks like Davi Santos. Um, we got, who's this, from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for making this such a good year. Also, you should consider eating healthier, LOL. Green plus red equals Christmas. Okay, that was Michael Tabor. Um, Camille, uh, LOL what Michael said. Dear Brennan, your strength and leadership amongst the group was truly appreciated. You always looked out for the group and stood up for us. Thank you. It was a pleasure getting to know you and work with you. Sincerely, Camille Hyde. Davi said, man, his handwriting is so fancy. It's hard to read. I've always wanted to be the Red Ranger or fight alongside him is quite the satisfaction. Uh, but working with you and having your friendship is the whole package and more. That's an inside joke from the show when uh, there's an episode where I'm like, man, you're the Gold Ranger, you're so good at everything. Like, you're the complete package. He's like, but yeah, but I'm not the Red Ranger. Like, that wasn't equality. Like, he was still better than me, but he's trying to make me feel better. Um, always your comrade, uh, Sir Brennan for life. I think that's what it says. Uh, Davi, Santos, Davi Santos and Jobu, which again, when we'd say like, Dai Jobu, like, are you okay in Japanese? Him and I just started calling each other Jobu a bunch. So we're like, Jobu, how are you, Jobu? It just became a thing. And then there's stuff that they added, like Samson Caves, where I found my Energem. Steep climb, you know, 10 miles to the city. So just cool, the detail they put into stuff like this. This was my own writing. What did I write? Today is June, uh, and being a ranger isn't easy, but we, uh, but we have a great team, even though Chase gets distracted by girls sometimes. <laughs> he definitely has our backs. And Riley, he's always analyzing things and training. Uh, he makes me try harder to uh, Shelby, she really, she, oh, I can't even read my own writing. Shelby, uh, she's really smart. And hey, I think she's cute. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, this isn't really part of my collection per se, but when I go to conventions, this is my banner that I hang up behind me. If you can see that kind of. So it has a couple of different shows I've been on. I wasn't just a Power Ranger, guys. I also spoke backwards and fought ghosts and was thrown in prison and sold drugs in Supergirl. And then I almost replaced someone in kicking it and the uh, Secret Life of the American Teenager stuff and other jobs that are on this as well. Oh, we got a bunch of scripts in here. We got um, original scripts. And then it tells you like what episodes of Kyo Ruger that the footage was based off of and how many minutes of Kyo Ruger was in it. So it's pretty cool how they do stuff like that. So can't, you know, copy it and distribute it or whatever. All right, so that's going back in there. So let's jump back into other collection stuff because I felt like that could have been another video. Then we got some other cute things. This was a custom thing. I did a convention. Was it Guelph, Canada, I think? It's where I... I, I did the con with Dino Thunder Blue and Dino Thunder White Ranger. Someone had like a bunch of Pokemon versions of these and I asked for her to make a custom uh, red Dino Charge one. And here's the result, so it's cute. Here's Davi, you know, I got one of these because initially we thought of doing a YouTube video where we were gonna voice our lightning figures and do like a stop action thing, but we just never got around to doing it. But maybe eventually we'll do it. Um, this, what, where is this from? I don't know if this is German, but yeah, they had a comic book of Dino Supercharge. Do they have me drawn in here? Yeah, look, there's me. That's an interesting haircut. Uh, yeah, is that German? Jet Weird Dino My Big Wild? I don't, I don't know. Uh, other toys that we got when I mentioned, we got to raid the room at Saban Studios. So they gave us a bunch of things. I don't even know what this is. Oh, this. so I had my suit made. Um, so this is some of the fabric that my friend used um, to make my personal Dino Charge suit that I sometimes wear to conventions. Last I wore it was to this year's Morphicon, actually. So I did some in-suit photo ops. I shouldn't have ripped that bag because I thought this was trash. It's not. Oh, well. So we got special 
limited edition, uh, an addition, a special color of uh, the Spinozord. So that's cool. I think that was um, Death Ranger, if I'm not mistaken, in Kill Ranger, or our Dark Rangers Megazord, technically. Oh, look, here's James. I have him as well. I don't think I ever got the other cast members though, just those two. Uh, a little play pack, grab and go. So if you wanna do crayon drawings with your favorite Power Ranger team, uh, we got a green uh, Dino Charge Megazord. We have a Plessio Megazord. That's the proper color at least. And then let's move these guys out of here. Uh, other random little power pack things. I'll, again, not sure what that really was. Just a cool toy, I guess. Um, we got the Terrazord. And then we got the actual Dino Charge Megazord in the proper color. And I have the wrong color, Rexy. <laughs> Rexy is not yellow, or even black for that matter. These were not mistakes. They just did special colors. Um, instant win. What would I have won? Yeah, so limited edition color. So just more ways to sell the same thing, essentially, but slightly different. But I wanna know, what can you win? Chance to appear on Power Rangers. I guess I did win it. <laughs> uh, and then here, which I've done another video for before, was my secret Power Ranger book. There's a bug. That's what you get for having things in the garage. So that's a bunch of stuff in there. This is actually a metal die cast. So if you look at these Dino Chargers, they're the normal ones um, that you could get pretty standard from Japan. And then the metal ones, it's hard to tell. They're screwed into place. So you have to use a screwdriver to get them off. But this is one of my favorite items. I actually, this is probably the most money I have spent on an item myself. But yeah, whole bunch of different dino chargers. All right, so this is the Memorial Edition Gobble Revolver. I could not find where the battery went for the life of me. But then I learned this pops off. Why would I have known that? Who just thinks this pops off without being told? Anyway. Oh yeah. I'm not clicking anything yet. It's just a... I'm trying to see. It does the theme song. I don't actually know how many times you have to put. It's not doing it. Oh, there's another button back here. I didn't realize that. So here's the Japanese theme song, which is an amazing song if you haven't heard it before. I have it on my workout playlist, true story. Whoa, whoa. And then speaking of other, I'm just gonna let that play for a second. Um, my friend Kevin who made the T-Rex Smasher made me this custom uh, Gabu revolver like scoped Nerf gun that actually works. So, how do I even, how do I use this one again? It's been a minute. If he's watching this, he's gonna be like, Brennan, you forgot. And I'm like, yes, I did. Whatever. Anyway, it shoots Nerf gun bullet things. Two more things real quick. Uh, and then we're gonna jump into the giveaway. I wanted to show, so this one is the San Diego Comic-Con 2015 exclusive. I showed you the New York Comic-Con one, so this one's slightly different and I had my cast sign it. So this is the Mighty Morphin suits, not from the movie. Um, and then activates exclusive phrase in Deluxe Dino Charge Morpher, which I haven't actually listened to. Metallic finish, limited edition, the Megazord one again came from Toys R Us. So I had James signed black, I signed red, uh, Tabor signed green, uh, Camille obviously pink, Yoshi, and then I think this one was Claire on the Megazord. So fun, good times. So that's one of my other favorite items that I have. But now I wanna show you guys, cause I didn't wanna do a full unboxing video just for this one off necessarily. But this attaches to that Memorial Edition, probably needs batteries too. So we got the Memorial Edition for the Dino Saber, which is super cool. I had this on my table at Morphicon this year um, from Toku Collectibles. So again, I don't have the batteries in. Uh, it comes with two different blades. Uh, yeah, it's still taped. So the shorter blade here is if you wanna attach it to the Gobble Revolver um, because it doesn't actually fit on the Gobble Revolver. You put the full one on but I did a lot of photos with this, so I think it's pretty sick. So this is one of my favorite things too. So that's pretty much by and large, most of my collection, not all of it. The reason I don't have all of this on display is because I'm married 
And when you're married, the space is both of yours. And my wife is much more of like a interior designer than I am. So basically, space wise, we only have so much room and now that we have a baby too, space is even more cramped. So this for the most part is my entire Power Rangers collection. There's some items hidden around my house and in my garage, but definitely my favorite pieces. In the meantime, I wanna talk about that giveaway I promised of this helmet right there. So thank you for watching the video, or maybe you just jumped ahead to the end because you didn't wanna watch the whole thing. Shame on you, you should've watched the whole thing. <laughs> but okay, so to win this helmet, a couple things, one, you do have to have your shipping address in the United States, sorry. Uh, and two, you have to like this video, subscribe and comment below on what Power Rangers means to you. So I'm gonna pick a winner from this list. I'm hoping to get this bad boy picked by, you know, December latest. Um, and then I'm not gonna do a video for the giveaway. I'm gonna post in the community tab. So make sure you check that if you're the winner. And if I don't hear back from you giving me like the address and a DM or something within 30 days, we'll pick a different winner. So all you have to do, again, like, comment, subscribe, and then write what Power Rangers means to you in the comments on this video. And then again, I'll pick a winner. And if you live in the States, you can win this, or if you have a shipping address in the States and then you wanna ship it to yourself internationally, that'd be cool too. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And if you wanna see more about that secret Power Ranger book, watch this video.